I see those kind of cheesy posters everywhere. Pictures of conventionally attractive straight people telling me to be me, but what they actually mean by be me is to be myself as in that Netflix movie Tall Girl. You know, the one about the straight, attractive, rich white girl who is very oppressed because she is slightly taller than her classmates. But by the end of the movie, luckily, she learns to accept herself by being herself as a tall, straight, rich white girl. By be yourself, those posters and messages and positive t-shirt slogans don't actually mean, to put it bluntly, be a dyke. Be yourself, but you know, not like that. Okay, confession time. I'm gay, but I never actually came out to my extended family, most of which live in Colombia. I mean, Latin America isn't exactly known to be a beacon of LGBT liberation and acceptance, so I held off as much as I could. My Colombian family loves me and they're totally accepting and wonderful, but I was nervous because they love these three things more than anything else in the world, in no particular order. Family, empanadas, and God in the Catholic Church. See, most Latino families and immigrant families are religious, and they want their kids to be Harvard-educated lawyers, not lesbians. I hear you can do both these days, but that's not the point. So sophomore year, my family was still thinking that there was nothing fishy with the fact that I never showed any interest in men whatsoever for years. So I just, I couldn't stand it anymore. I just came clean that I was gay through an intricate letter to my parents that outlined in detail my entire history of gayness with hyperlinks to videos that helped further explain my points and experiences, which included many links to Haley Kiyoko music videos to really drive the whole thing home. My coming out to my parents was a whole production, and after that I just got tired, so I would just say gay things enough until the rest of my family found out that their supposedly perfect girl was actually not perfect, and they found this out via a magazine that mentioned me being gay. It was a very popular magazine that could be found in airport newsstands everywhere. I had done an interview with them and I explicitly mentioned how gay I was. My family read it and that's how they found out. Now, I don't know if they were as mad that there was now a lesbian in the family as opposed to as mad that they were that they had to find this out through a magazine on an airport newsstand and not from me, their own family member. Look, sorry tias and tios, I didn't mean any harm by it. I was just so tired of constantly coming out. And once my family did find out, I got a lot of, it's just a bit weird for us because we don't really have gays in our family. Uh, to which I was like, exactly. God saw a quota was not reached and boom, here I am, I like girls and I truly think that all men look like potatoes. I also truly think that the universe has a quota, a rule that every family must have that one gay cousin at the very least. For a while, I thought it was so strange that I didn't have any gay cousins until I realized I am the gay cousin. If you don't have one, you are the one. Being the one gay in La Familia is a hard mantle to carry, but someone has to do it, right? And look, I didn't make this video to complain. I love my family and they love me. I guess I'm just trying to navigate and make sense of living on what seems like an entirely different level of existence than the straight world. Straight cis people own everything. The entire world is built for them, catered towards them. And to be honest, it gets exhausting, begging for scraps and being told that I'm too demanding, too obnoxious, too much of a proponent of the gay agenda for even asking for a tiny slice of what they have. I mean, you know, this whole lesbian thing is nothing like the L word said it would be. The L word promised me scandal and thrilling romance, but all I have is homework and depression, so thanks a lot. I mean, being gay is just kind of being sad and wanting a girlfriend, but not really doing anything about it. It's just wanting to snap your fingers and make the whole world understand what it's like. Snap, suddenly they stop asking you stupid questions. Snap, they realize that I'm not homophobic, but means the next thing that is going to come out of their mouth is absolutely going to be homophobic. I wish I could snap my fingers and make all those angry moms online understand that putting LGBT characters in more shows and movies isn't going to turn their kids gay. It's going to give their children a more accurate understanding of the world and make them more kind and accepting. I mean, the BS is exhausting and sometimes I'm sad because gay existence is so hard and taxing. So occasionally I go to the movies to distract myself about how sad I am about being gay. 
But then when I see that there are no actual movies that contain girls like me or lesbians that I can relate to, I just turn around and go home, now extra sad about being gay. But I still have hope. I know that someday I'll get to see my Disney happily ever after. The big screen will be full of girls like me. The weirdos, the dykes, the freaks, the girls who are like that, ourselves in a way that those vague elementary school be yourself posters did not mean to take this far. But until then, oh screw it, I'll just hate watch Tall Girl.